Honestly, is this absolutely necessary? I'm afraid this is going to cost you a good sum. But Mr. Taylor, they never moved their cars. Please, call me William. I don't know about this, Sheldon. You're taking a big risk. This sounds just as dumb as one of those freaks who end up calling 911 to complain about McDonald's if they were to give him four nuggets instead of five. Oh, I'm not familiar with that. Yep, that just happened last week. A gentleman by the name of uh, Chris Curran. He's gonna be paying a mighty sum. Okay. I need to tinkle. I beg your pardon? Mother says when I get angry, I tend to tinkle. Mr. Sheldon, I I'm sorry. Maybe you should work with uh, one of my colleagues. I know a remarkable lawyer by the name of Donald. He specializes in uh, bicycle hit and runs. Or another one, Laura Major. She is an, an amazing, amazing lawyer. She won all of her cases in the Supreme Court. Well, what do the Supremes have to do with this? They have wonderful music. So tell me again, you want to sue everyone in your complex, including your landlord, Mumbakwa. Oh, Mumbakwa put me in charge. But when I honk the horn in the lot, nobody moves their cars. <sighs> you give them 24 hours notice? Why? When the news channels say there's a blizzard coming, there's your 24 hours notice right there. But Mr. Sheldon, about 10 days ago, we had a, a basic snowstorm that gave us one inch of snow. One inch, mind you. That was not a blizzard. Don't tell mother. Okay, okay, uh, help me understand. You've been living here for? 20 years. With? With mother. Where were you before that? I worked for G&E. When things don't quite work out, you move in with your mother. Your mother? My mother. <laughs> uh, I, I'm sorry. You just remind me of a, a song by Danzig. It's called Mother. Oh, I should tell that to mother. That's fine, that's fine. Let's see here. Um, you're 54 years of age. You live with your mother for 20 years, unmarried, no relationships, I think. Uh, no kids, no job. That does sound pathetic. When mother was asleep last night, I whispered into her ear that I would win my case. Wait. What? You know, my landlord has a nice moon face. Well, anyway, they used Harvey Weinstein to sue the pants off of Wilfred Brimley. I need to leave. Because he had diabetes, and he left oatmeal stains all over his kitchen. Sheldon, it was a pleasure to meet you. Thank you for your time. And uh, I tell you, there's absolutely no guarantee that you'll win something out of this, but I will look into it as much as I can to see if you have a case. Thank you. Mother will be pleased. Again, Sheldon? Thank you. Thank you. I'll see uh, what we can do. Have a nice day, sir.